All right, hello everybody, and welcome to this demonstration of our copying segments and angles. So I just wanted to go through this again so that you guys have a resource to be able to see how this works. So I've got my instructions over here, and I'm just going to follow along with them. So number one is that I'm going to copy the length of the leg BC so that the triangle has an endpoint on the ray. So I've got my segment BC here, and I want to use my compass tool and I'm going to copy my segment BC onto the endpoint of my ray. So we're going to call this endpoint F. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to an F. All right, and then at the same time, I'm actually going to change the color of this, and I'm going to make it blue to match my blue segment up here. So now I've got my blue circle here, and I want to now place a point where the compass intersected the ray call this point G. So right here, I'm going to place a point, and I'm going to call this G. Okay, so now I have F and G. So step three is I'm going to copy the length of the leg AB on of the triangle onto the point F using the compass. So it's not a triangle yet, so that's a little bit of a mistake, but I think we generally see where we're going here. So we're copying the length of AB onto the point F using the compass. So again, I'm going to color code this just to make sure that we know what it's coming from. So this black circle was made from this black segment. OK, so now my next thing that I want to do. So now I'm going to draw a third leg connecting A and C of my original triangle. So I'll draw this third leg, and I'm going to change this to red. Now I'm going to take my compass, and in step five it says, use the compass tool to copy AC onto your ray centered on G. So I'm going to copy that now, and I'm going to center it on G. And I'm going to go ahead and change the color of this to red as well. Now what we can see is that we have some intersection point here between the circle around F and the circle around G. So step six says, at the intersection of the compass circles created by copying AC and AB, mark a point and call it E. So you can either choose this top intersection or this bottom intersection, but I'm going to choose the top, and I'm going to mark this point as E. So now I have that point marked. And now I want to connect a segment between E and F. And I'm going to make that segment... Well, it doesn't really matter, but I'll turn it green just for now. And so what I'll see is if I move A, those will move together. And if I try and move E, or if I try and move any of these points, it locks the whole thing in place, right? So I can change maybe the ray, but all of the pieces are going to stay in the same orientation, and now they're controlled by the angle A, B, C. So just to verify, we can check the angle by choosing oh by choosing a leg one more second okay so we choose a leg a vertex and another leg and we see that is 59 degrees we choose a leg a vertex and another leg that's 59 degrees and if i move a i'm going to see that my ef will move with ab so if we want to hide these things we can hide that, hide that, hide that, hide that. And then if I want to go ahead and connect this segment here, I can hide my ray. And what I'll see is I've got two exact copies. So now when I move, this one, again, is locked always, right? And whenever I move A, that will be a copy. All right, so that ends this demonstration of how to copy a segment and angle using Desmos Geometry. If you have any questions, please let me know, and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.